Uh oh, you guys caught me. Yeah. This is really nice. I'm on my laptop. I'm in Pal Talk. How many guys out there ever heard of Pal Talk? I'm talking to a good friend of mine, FD64 Stang. And yeah. You guys want to see that intro? Well, guess what? You're going to see it anyway. I like that. Hey guys, how y'all doing? It's Thursday. Yeah, I got something I want to show you all. I was uh, looking around the basement the other day and I found something I forgot I had. Uh, something I, I'm very uh, interested in, you know, looking, checking it out, and doubt if I ever get it to work, but here, let me show you what I got. Yep, I found this in my basement last night. Forgot I had it. It's a 1931 or maybe a 39 model. Very nice, old antique. Yeah, I'm definitely never will sell this. I want to keep it in my house for something like you know for show. Let me give you another view of it once all closed up. Yeah, the other problem I there's one problem I have with it, and as you see, it doesn't want to latch right here, but that could be a small problem to fix. But yeah. Something about taking pictures with black and white is awesome. It is. I like doing the black and white. I got a question for you guys out there, okay? Got to sit there talking with my wife yesterday. Got to thinking. Now, this is about handguns, all right? Gun control. A lot of you guys, which including me, have a handgun. Why do we have a handgun? For personal protection, correct? Well, anyway... I got to thinking about that. Yeah, my sunglasses are toast. Got to thinking about that yesterday. You know? If somebody was to actually break in my house, would I have time to get my gun, load it, and say, hey, you know, would I have that time? Let's think about it. My gun has a little lock, you know, where the trigger is. It has that kind of a lock mechanism. And my ammo is somewhere else under lock and key. If somebody breaks in my house, the first thing they're going to have to meet up with is my dog. My dog will bite them and pretty much tear their damn leg off. But, let's say my dog doesn't get to them. And I do have to go for the gun. That'd be the last thing I want to do, but if I ever had to go for the gun, would I have the time to get the gun, undo the lock for the, where the trigger is, unlock the ammo, load the gun, and come out? By the time I got this... The crooks would be done gone. It would have robbed me freaking blind. So really, is it really worth it? Now, I'm sure some of you guys are out there saying, well, hell, why you got to lock the ammo up? Why you got to have a little lock? Well, this is why right here. Oh, I don't know if you can see them. I got kids. And I got kids that will, you know, their curiosity will get the best of them and they will look at it. I did when I was a kid. I dang near got my head shot off when I was a kid. Cool. Years ago, when I was about Damien's age, I was at my cousin Charlie's house. We was playing um, Cowboys and Indians. And he had a few toy guns and stuff. Well, he mentioned to me, he says, Mike. And you gotta remember, my uncle Fred was gone, and my dad was gone, my mom was gone. They went somewhere. And back in them days, you could leave your kids at home and they'd be safe, you know? Unlike today. So he says, Mike. I know where a gun is. I said, do you? Let's get it. So we get in there, and we get into a little drawer, and it was a, a gun. I think it was a Colt 45. Dang thing was so heavy. Oh, my gosh. I remember trying to put it down where my belt was, and the thing was so heavy, it broke through my belt and hit the floor. Well, we got to play with this thing, and we even tried to fire this gun. But our little fingers was just not strong enough to pull that trigger or something. It's a good thing we didn't fire it because it was definitely loaded. When my Uncle Fred and my dad found out that we played with this gun, we got our ass whipped good for that one. But think about it. You know, kids will kids will be nosy. They will touch things, even if you tell them not to. 
They sometimes will. Do you, are you willing to take that chance? I'm not. So all my guns are locked. They're under lock and key. Some people keep their guns in the gun cabinet. I don't have a gun cabinet. I don't know. I thought about buying one, but I only have three guns, so it would be worth my trouble to get a gun cabinet. Just a thought, guys. Just a thought. All right. You guys remember the wind we've been having here on the warm days, and it's blowing my cans all to hell and back. Well, I moved them. I got them back here on the back deck until summer. A little easier to get to. Uh, if we do get snow, I just make a path. The wind don't get them. Here, I'll show you. There you go. I don't know how well you can see them all, but I got them all lined up back there. You know today is garbage day. I'm going to try something, okay? I'm going to see how well this works. Let's see. Let me use some powers here. Garbage can. Go to the front of the house. Now. Oh, man. Come on. Go to the front of the house. Oh. Come on, garbage can. Front of the house. All right, this ain't going to work, guys. Oh. Garbage can. Front of the house. Oh, I tried. All right, let's see if we can try this now. Garbage can, come to me. Not bad. You know what? Heck with it. Go! Rut row. I don't have no more can. Well, this will probably conclude my video today, guys. I hope my editing effects worked. Uh, I'm trying something new. If it worked, maybe something else in the future. But really, that's all I got to vlog about today. I know, boring, huh? But, like I said, it's a small window into my life, and this is pretty much it. Today, I have one sick daughter, one sick wife, and one sick son. We had to go pick my son up from school at 9 this morning. He's sick. My daughter didn't go to school. She's sick. And my wife has a serious migraine. So, it, we may not be getting snow. And temperatures may be uh, a little warmer than normal. Well, not today. But we sure in heck getting that bug. So, until next time, guys. I'm One Bubba Mike One. And, Mom, let's get out of here.